I see no point in having a conversation with somebody. You tell me something, you state it one way, and then when I take it exactly how you state it, you be upset because it's like, oh, you didn't mean it that way. But that's how you said it. Why should I have to then assume that you meant it in a different way? What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Jay's Perspective. And today I want to talk to you guys about why I'm so literal. So I'm a person that takes everything that is stated to me for face value. Just it is what it is. Exactly how you say it is exactly how I take it. I'm an extremely literal person. And the reason that I'm such a literal person is because I don't believe that people should say things that they don't really mean. Or if you meant something in a different way, I don't feel you should say it in a way that doesn't describe how you meant it. I believe your words should match what you mean. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I don't know if you watch this and you think, yeah, that makes sense that your words should match what you mean. But when I say I'm like extremely literal, I will take it literally what you say for what, like how you say it to me. So if you tell me you hate me, I'm going to believe you hate me. If you tell me you love me, I'm going to believe you love me. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you use a specific statement, right? I'm very specific in particular about words. You know, words are, are what they are for a certain reason. Words have definitions for a certain reason. There's a reason you can't, um, inter you can't, use words in interchangeably, certain words, right? So if you tell me you had to do something, had, I'm going to take it past tense. Or if you have to do something, I'm going to take it as that's something you're going to do in the future or you're about to do, whatever the case may be. And I know these things probably sound like common sense. You're like, well, obviously, you know, but I've had certain debates and things of that nature when a person may use a specific word in a specific context and I take it in the context in which it's stated and then I end up in a debate or argument with that person because the way they stated it isn't the way that they meant it. But then I'll repeat back to them. I'll be like, you definitely said this. You said it this way. This is the word. I will go like, this is the word that you use. This is literal, literally what you said. You telling me to not take what you said for how you said it. And the reason, the main reason I feel like I should only have to take things how people say it is because I don't feel like I should have to overanalyze or become presumptuous and assume certain things about the things that you're saying to me. I feel like you should just say to me whatever it is that you mean. So if I mean something, if there's something I want you to get, I'm not going to say it in a cryptic way or a different way. Than, though, than how I mean it. I'm going to say it exactly how I mean it so you could get it exactly how it's stated. I see no point in having a conversation with somebody. You tell me something, you state it one way, and then when I take it exactly how you state it, you be upset because it's like, oh, you didn't mean it that way. But that's how you said it. Why should I have to then assume that you meant it in a different way? Why would I assume you meant it in a different way? Because to me then... What if you meant it literally how you said it, but I assume that you meant it in this way and you're like, no, I definitely said this. What happens in that scenario? But I've really been in a lot of situations where somebody has said one thing and they meant it a different way and I took it the way that they said it. So anything you say to me, me as a person, I'm very literal. I take everything for face value. If you say something to me a specific, a certain way, that's literally how I'm going to take it. I'm not going to put it up for interpretation and be like, hmm, I know you said it this way, but maybe you mean it in this context. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't really see a point in that. If you have something to say, if you want to get a message across to me, I tend to believe that you should state your message however you mean to say it. Don't state your message one way, have a different idea in your head and expect me to jump into your brain, dissect what you actually meant to say and be like, oh, that's what they really mean. And don't get mad at me when I, you know, take what you say for face value. When I take what you say as how you said it. And that's literally something I, re I really don't get about people because people do that a lot and they assume that, you know, you're supposed to interpret it in many different ways and stuff like that. 
sometimes I've gotten I've gotten into debates about how certain sentences aren't up for interpretation. You know, some things are up for interpretation. Don't get me wrong; certain, certain things are opinionated. But if I tell you that I don't know, if I tell you I hate you or whatever, if I say something in a very specific way to you, if I tell you I had to do something, that's not. It may be up for interpretation of what I had to do. But the fact that I did it already to me is not up for interpretation because I said I had to had past tense. So it's not up for interpretation now that maybe it's something I'm about to do. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I said, it seems like common sense, but I really get into debates with people about certain things like this. And like, so if you tell me something, you tell me I'm ugly, I'm going to think you really mean I'm ugly. Anything that you tell me, I'm going to take it and I, I, that's what I'm going to believe. Because I, I feel and I, I would really think that you as a person, you only saying what you mean. I shouldn't have to decipher your sentences for you. This is not hieroglyphic snow. You say how, say how you mean it. I take it how you say it. That's exactly why I'm so literal. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you a literal person? Are you not very literal? Are you very loose with your words? Are you loose with the definitions of certain words? Do you not really care about the definitions? Because I really be having conversations and then go look a word up in the dictionary to be like, yo, am I tripping? Does this word not mean this? But let me know what you think. Let me know how you are, how you handle those conversations. Do you ever deal with somebody that is so literal like me? Are you somebody that's literal like me? Are you not somebody that's literal? Just let me know. But remember, guys, this is just Jay's perspective. Everything that I say is just what I think. It's just what I do. You don't got to follow it. You do you. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.